your typical school that's just gonna teach you how to trade. We're gonna go out there and be part of a family, be part of a team. We're looking for traders that we could trade together. Now, my name is Elaine Forney, and I'm actually living in North Kingstown, Rhode Island right now. Well, I'm actually retired, so what I do for a living is I'm a trader. That's what I'm doing now for a living. My name is David, and I'm from Richmond, Virginia. I'm retired. Right now, I was in aerospace with Boeing. My name is Richard Serrano, and I'm from East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. I'm a network field engineer, and I do telecommunications. My name is Phil Scheib, and I am from Alaska. I am retired locomotive engineer. My name is Leanne Jack, and I grew up in Appleton, Wisconsin. So I'm a web designer and a front-end developer. My name is George Brooks. I am originally from New Jersey. I've been IT for the last 33 years. And in between that, still cutting down trees, climbing trees, and all that other stuff in between. My name is Terrell Lee. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. I work at a small used car lot just to get out of the house. I discovered this whole community of traders in the trade room which, you know, I knew I was sitting in front of my computer at home all by myself, and now all of a sudden, here is this community out there, which I found very generous. Everybody was so supportive and welcoming. I, it just really blew me away. What makes us so different than other schools is that we're just not your typical school that's just gonna teach you how to trade. We're gonna go out there and be part of a family, be part of a team. We're looking for traders that we could trade together. My name is Josh Levitin. Uh, I'm from Bethpage, New York, and I'm the senior instructor here at Cyber Training University. Yeah. What makes our on-site class so great, aside from the networking aspect of it all, just having our students meet each other for the first time, is the fact that myself and Fausto are very hands-on with our students in the sense of just being able to literally overlook their shoulder and watch their trade, what they're focused on from their platform. Some news came out and I think just popped. Uh, while I can comment on what they should focus on online, they might not be able to understand that as well compared to having us right there in front of them. I kind of like the idea of not being in front of a computer eight hours a day because I can't do that. So I kind of like the idea of doing it in the morning and then going to do all the other stuff I need to do. Everyone that you thought was going to do that, you're going to you're you're have nine losses versus one winner. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's not worth it. When I spoke to Fausto on the phone and he interviewed me, the thing he said the hardest thing for me to do would be to unlearn the things that I previously learned. And it turns out that's 100% true. And the stuff that I'm learning from him and from Josh and everybody um, has really made all the difference in the world in understanding what a day trader is and how it actually works. Uh, Fausto and the staff at CTU University, they, they're really on top of everything. They give you good, good trade choices and, and they keep you alert on to whatever's happening in the market at the, at the time for the day. Right, so we, we made a profit. What did I just say earlier? Just take the money take the money and run because guess what? If you didn't take it, how would you be doing right now? Now you're, now you're losing money. You're just trying to make that day's pay. That's all you're looking to do. You got it, you made it. Listen, for every stock that that kept on going, for every one that you thought was going to do that, you're going to have you're going you're to have nine losses versus one winner. I don't think you're going to find a better uh, support team in the stock trading business anywhere. That's why I'm here at the uh, platinum level. You know, a lot of people want to go out there and trade and don't know if it's for them or not. And guess what? That's okay because it's not. And the thing you have to look at is you have to find a mentor, you have to find a school, you have to sample a couple of things with a couple of schools out there, do a couple of classes, and you make the choice. But don't make the biggest mistake that people make. Go out there and be part of 90%, maybe even higher, of the failure rate in today's industry because people want to try it before they learn. I mean, would you ever want someone to work on your loved ones that never went to med school? Or how about just giving your finance money to some financial planner that never learned finance? We are no different, but you are on the right path. The right path is you should be doing it on your own. And by doing it on your own, you need a mentor to show you how to do it. And that's what you're gonna get here at CyberTree University. All right, fellow traders, let me get a little chat back if you could hear me loud and clear. 
Just give me a little chat back, please. Just give me a second. I just want to add my PowerPoint. Just going to share the screen. There we go. All right. Good, good. Hopefully everybody can see me okay. Let me share this PowerPoint here. There we go. All right, so this should be able to bring this up. All right, hopefully everybody can see that okay. All right, fine. Good, 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 good. All right, everybody. So welcome, everybody. My name is Fausto from Cybertrain University. Hopefully everybody enjoyed that quick little video. Uh, we always like to play that. That is a montage and also the testimonials from some of the students that we've trained and the experience that they have with Cybertrain University kind of make you realize why it's so important to be a very successful trader in today's markets. You know, a lot of people fail and they don't know why they're failing. And I'm here to teach you is not how to make money, but how to stop losing it. And we're going to start talking about the mean stocks on the Wall Street bet on Reddit. We're going to talk about short squeezes. We're going to talk about stocks that we traded. And I'm going to teach you something that everyone here is going to be very, very shocked and very depressed. You know, I hate to say that word, but you're going to realize that you've been trading backwards this whole time. And why that is, is that our whole philosophy, how to teach our traders, is not just to teach you how to trade, but trade with traders that are very successful at it, which is the team, and also how to follow the big money. Now, just keep in mind, everybody, um, trading, there's a very, very high risk when it comes to trading. Uh, you know, just want you to know that we don't make any promises, we don't make any guarantees, uh, you know, is a very high risk. It's very, very dangerous to trade in the market and you shouldn't be trading what you can't afford to lose. So please keep that in mind. And anything we're talking about today is strictly for educational purposes. Now, what we're gonna cover everybody is we're gonna talk about how to follow and what is an actual short squeeze. We're gonna talk about how to follow, not just the smart money, but I'm gonna change that word. I'm gonna call it the big money. That's really what I want to call it. Follow where those big block orders are. I'm also going to talk about how do how orders get filled and how things get executed so we know why they go up and down the way they do. And then also we're going to talk about how to distinguish a fast moving stock and a slow moving stock. I know everybody out there is like saying, do I trade options? Do I trade Forex? Do I trade stocks? Do I swing trade? Well, you know what? You should learn a little bit about everything but you can't trade everything. You want to trade something that fits in your schedule and then that you get, and most importantly, finding a mentor and a team that's very good at it. So just tell you a little bit about Cybertrade University so you know a little bit about us really quick. Um, we've been in business for over 25 years now, which is really unheard of. You hear all these companies that are out there and whatever it is, some are very new, whatever it is. It is a very big business, but does it mean that you know, so is every education, even college is a business, right? But why do we go to college? Okay, it, we go there because, and not that everybody needs it, but we all know that it just helps better yourself and qualify yourself. And the way I learned how to trade is that I was with a person that was very ignorant and thought I didn't have to go to college. I'm trying to use that metaphor. And um, I said, I'll go trade on my own. Well, why got to work for somebody, right? Well, why, why can I, why got to spend all that money? Why do I have to go drive back and forth to the city? I live here in New York. Why can't I, well, how hard is it to do it myself? Well, let me tell you something. It's, it's extremely hard. And the reason for it, it's not hard to open up a brokerage account. It's not hard to maybe come up with the money. You know what's hard? taking losses, knowing where to find the stock, knowing where to get that data from. That's what makes it hard. And let me tell you what you're going to learn. When, you when I start showing you in the next five to 10 minutes, 
you're going to see that you've been trading, like I said earlier, opposite of everything that you're doing. How do I know that? Because I was on the other side of this webinar. Okay. And listen, I, the way I learned how to be very successful is that I was semi-retired at the age of 24. Okay. Which is probably unheard of, but I'm an entrepreneur. And I said, you know what? Not healthy for a 24 year old to be retired. So um, I wanted to build my business. I love trading. I just love doing it. I don't care how much money you have. You're always going to trade. But I've learned that you can't just leave what you had. You got to build around it. You got to teach people how to trade. You got to build a group. So I founded Cyber Trading Diversity, and that's why we've been around so long. And that's why we have a five-star rating on Google. And that's why we have a AAA rating at Better Business Bureau. And that's why we're endorsed by every brokerage firm in the industry, because what we teach everyone works. But the thing is, not all of you qualify, and that's why we're all here. So um, that's basically how I got started. I'm one of the original day traders. Great article was written in Forbes. Uh, that was a friend of mine that I used to trade for. I forgot his name because it's been 25 years. Uh, but you can see those old Quotron monitors right there. Look at those monitors. Things are so ugly. But a bunch of kids tormenting Wall Street. I was one of those kids. Um, man, it was so long ago, but I'm going to be 50 years old. Uh, September 18th. So save it on your calendar. Um, always, you know, always remember, uh, you know, to take care of your mentor. <laughs> okay. But the best gift of all is me giving you to go do this for your career. But it's been a long time. I still do it. I love it. And, you know, more and more people are getting into it, but you got to know how to play the game. Now, the reason why I got into trading also, and I think a lot of people here are going to realize why you're into it. I know everyone has their own things. Maybe you're retiring soon. Maybe, you know, maybe you're going to start trading a pension. You don't want to blow it up. You know, you want to build on it, not live off it. Um, but I have two families. And the reason why I think that I have such a good relationship with my wife and my three sons, I've been married for almost 23 years now, is that. I had the freedom to come and go and spend more time with them. Let my wife be able to work, you know, to take, raise my kids and I could spend, take them with me and travel with them and have that relationship. And I kind of carried that same type of, you know, uh, family values into my traders. We have a very good relationship with my traders and hopefully you'll be one of them. That's how you build a good relationship, a good team, a good nucleus. Okay. Um, you know, if you have a bad employee, you got to get rid of them. That's that's not a bad thing, but you don't want someone to put you out of business and you don't want to be involved with a very, you know, you know, a bad environment of traders out there that would do that to you also. But that's basically what we do. Now, why are we all here? One reason and one reason only. You're here to make money. So Please put the egos away. Let's not talk about the Lear Jets and let's not talk about how much money Fausto made and like how you can so let's figure, listen. If you're looking for someone to entertain you, go watch TV, go go watch a movie. You want to learn how to make money. It doesn't matter what you trade. It all matters is that did you make money on that trade or not? That's really what comes down to it. You don't want to go out there and says, oh, you know, market's up 222 points today. Um, oh, Facebook's up $4 today. Google's up. Big deal. There are a lot of other stocks out there that are going to give you least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. And that's basically what we're looking for. Now, the whole strategy about Cyber Trade University, what we're going to show you is basically how to follow the big orders. And I'm going to show you how we do that. OK, now we all know about the Reddit stocks. We all know about, you know, what happened, the mean stocks, the the, the uh, AMCs, the KOSS, the, you know, the uh, game stops, all that stock. And the thing is, the reason why they go up and go down is supply and demand. It's not support and resistance levels. It's buyers and sellers that run up these stocks. And believe me, they're there every single day. OK, now. I'll give you an example. ALF. Just out of curiosity, and I'm going to ask everybody a question. By the way, we're going to do a couple of quiz questions here. Did anybody see the stock ALF? Did anyone trade the stock? Just give me a yes or no. Norman, we know you did because you're one of the traders in the room. Martin, no. Well, I've got a lot of no's. You guys didn't see the stock? This was Friday. Let's think about this for a second. This stock went from at 9.30 in the morning, ran from $6 at 
At the end of the day, it closed at eight. What is that, a 30% move? People can't even make 5% a year. You'd be ecstatic if you could make like 10% a year. Here's a stock that literally ran 30% in one day. Does that sound great? Well, guess what? And you're like, ah, you know, that's a fluke. You know what I mean? Whatever, it, it would happen, it's, it's past tense. Oh, really? How about on Tuesday? Because it continued from Monday to Tuesday. That stock went from $8, actually, you know, all the way to 15. How great is that? What is that, up 100%? 100% move. Actually, the stock went all the way up to, at the end of the day, end up going to about $16. Anybody happy with that? By the way, every one of these stocks, and you could see our, 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 our staff right there, uh, is posting up a link. You can follow our Twitter feed. You can follow us on Instagram. You can watch us every morning on YouTube which you probably, that's probably where you found us. Or maybe you found us from one of our, you know, our affiliate partners that recommend me all the time. You see, what is ALF doing? I don't know. And I really don't care. Because at the end of the day, why do you trade? To make money. You see, I, the reason why this whole topic was about short squeezes and the mean stocks, you got to remember, it doesn't matter, you know, because... We had the COVID stocks. We had the financial crisis stocks. We had the internet bubble stocks. We had the cannabis stocks, the pot stocks. Okay, we got the e, uh, the e, uh, the EV stocks, all the electric car stocks. Another rally. We had a new administration that came in, the total opposite of the previous administration. Okay, made all different stocks that run, and all the other ones tanked. But what do you care? You care because you have to know. What happens every day, how to trade them. And how do we do that? You follow the money. The biggest thing I was always taught as a trader is once you think you learn something, you're going to lose. Now, um, I, I'm going to do a quick poll here. Uh, I just want to get to know a little bit about everybody here. Um, so you see a little poll popping up. Could you just tell me a little bit about you? Are you a stock trader, options, futures, and Forex? Just want to kind of take that and answer that question here. All right, so now I always like to share this because I have students here, you know, from my trading room. And by the way, they're here to kind of re help recruit some of you um, and tell you, they give you their feedback and we'll be happy to share them with you when, when, they're, when they're chatting back. But, um, but basically, let me share the poll right here. And, you know, you can see there are a lot of people trading the stock market. Look at that, 64%. And then you got another 48% trading options and futures. Look, a little bit of everything. Now, I personally, just to let you know, I, I'm going to talk specifically about stocks. If you want a good options trader, email me. You want to find a good futures trader, email me. You want a good Forex trader, email me because 95% of them, the people out there are just trying to scam you and just try to sell you programs. I, there's only a couple of people who know what they're doing. I personally trade the stock market. I specifically like to day trade. I do swing trade, okay, and do a little options trade. But if you want to be a good options trader, which we have a lot of you here, you can't be a good options trader if you're not a good stock trader first. Remember, it's the movement of the stock that makes an option move. And believe me, it's a lot more complicated. So, and you're going to see it. It's basically black and white. Now, here's the, um, the watch list. I'm just showing you really quick of that, the, the, you know, of our, our watch list. Um, basically, the way we find stocks is I don't have a crystal ball. Uh, I'm not here to kind of tell you, you know, to set this alert or whatever it is. We just kind of work off our big percentage gainers and losers. That's basically what we do. We're just right basically here just to make money. Let me stop and share. I didn't share the results. So sorry about that. Share results. Oh, there we go. Uh, just want to see something here. I'm just I'm just reading the chat. By the way, if anyone has any questions, feel free to answer them. I got staff that are here to answer your questions in great detail. But um, but for me, just to let you know, we just basically work stocks that have action in the market. Now, this is the issue. There's symbols in there that 99% of you don't even know what the hell they are. They're like, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? What the hell? Like, I don't know what the hell that is. Like, what is those symbols? And why is that stock up 187%? The other one's down 11%. You have to understand there are 25 
thousand stocks that trade every single day. You only need one to have, you know, to, to, to change your life for the day. That's all you need to make a day's pay. It's a job. Okay. And your job, this pays you a salary. That's all it is. You only need to trade the same one every day. Every day is a new adventure every single day. But the thing is, how do we find them and knowing where to get in, where to get out? So here we have a stock is, and we're going to talk a little bit about something. Uh, at what price would you try to enter to buy something? Okay. The better question is this. What exactly are you buying and selling a stock for? Like, well, why exactly are you buying it? It's not news. It's not the indicator. It's not the market sector or what the, what the market does. It's all, that is basically 90% of the failure rate. If you're doing any of that stuff, that's why people fail, okay? If that's what you're looking for, you're going to get yourself in trouble. I'm going to introduce something called level four, all right? And now before I do that, I want to do a poll question. And just to ask everybody, does anyone here have level three quotes or level two quotes? Just give me a yes or no. So you guys answer this question. Now, I know we have a lot of students here also, and they're basically, you know, we, we all know that you have it, so you don't have to answer this question. But there's almost 200 people in here. 50% of the vote? Come on, guys. Don't be shy. No one's going to embarrass. You know what? If you don't answer this, I'm going to take it as a no. All right? How about that? I'm going to share the results. Let me now let, let's get into the strategy behind Cyber Training University. I know everybody wants an alert. I don't want to know everybody wants to know what's going up and going down and why you're buying this and why you're selling that. Let me just teach you the basics of trading. And the basics of trading is how to follow the money, how to follow the big block orders, no matter if it's a mean stock, no matter if it's a, an upgrade or downgrade or an earnings announcements or a short squeeze. Okay. What you need to understand right here is what is driving the stock up and down. And it's all about two people only. It's only about two, two different ways, buyers and sellers. So let's go back and look at Wish. I, I know some of you were trading Wish. You know, as a stock that we traded, um, look at Wish really quick. So, where is resistance levels on Wish? Look at this. Look at this example right here. Okay, can anyone answer that question? Where do you think a res? What makes? I have a question to everyone. What makes a resistance level? Robert doesn't even have level two. Oh my God, Robert! Wait till you see what, what I'm going to show you now. Okay. Where is resistance levels at uh, on Wish, the stock Wish that we're looking at? Now, a lot of you are saying 13. Why? Why not 14? Why not, why not 12.50? Why is everybody coming out with 14? I'm just curious. Why did everyone come out with 14? Bob says 12.04. That's resistance? It says resi R is resistance. Because the double top? Is that why? Oh, I could see that. Yeah, definitely. Double top. Good. What else? Um, you got a big moving average on there? Okay. How about this? Let me get my crayon here. How about the 336,000 share seller out there that's been out there um, all morning, <laughs> basically? All day the guy's been out there. Think about it. 300,000 shares are looking to be sold. That's what that little red line is. Are you telling me that you would want to question and think the stock's going to go higher because it could, but you got to get through him first. That's what trading is all about. 
following the money. Let's look at another example. Look what happened to Wish after time went by at 10.50. 11, 11, 10, 11, 20. The stock didn't go anywhere. He actually added more shares. So here you are looking at a stock that started around 11 o'clock and after even 30 minutes, it still will not break it. Well, RC, it's not about missing the wave. It's about having a game plan. You see, at Cyber Trade University, we do not teach the past, like most people do, because most people are working off indicators. Remember, it's the movement of the stock that makes an indicator move. If you're looking at an indicator, you are a lagger. Do you want to be a lagger or you want to be a leader? That's where that comes into play. Now, can we get past the 300,000 share seller? Of course we could. Absolutely. And guess what? If you look right here, you see that green ball? That green ball means all those orders were executed. And look where it ran to, all the way to 14. Now, remember, how many buyers, I mean, sellers we had? 300,000? Do you notice how it went to 800,000? Anybody have an idea why it did that? That is called a short squeeze. What happened was he doubled down. Some big mutual fund or you know hedge fund or you know moron <laughs> that's trying to short this stock just got squeezed. Okay. And somebody bought it. Now he's doubling down another dollar higher. So the big thing is this. What makes support and resistance levels? It's buyers and sellers. Can sellers get executed? Absolutely. And what happens if sellers get executed? It's going to go where the next biggest seller is, which is what you see here. Just keep that in, in, in your mind. We see stocks break support resistance levels all the time. How does that actually happen? Well, you're seeing it right there. Think about this also for all my fellow traders out there. How much smarter and better trading decisions would you would make? if you were able to see the buyers and sellers. Think about it. How much better and smarter trading decisions would you make if you were able to see that? Now, my question to you is this. Robert says a lot. It would be great, right, RC? Right? It would be awesome. What is, by the way, what would you guys, you know, like, I want to kind of explain this to you. When I started, 25 years ago, I used to pay $1,000 a month for this data. Now, let me tell you how I got into, you know, why I'm in today and why people still fail. Imagine asking a 22-year-old to, you know, get a job as a trader. And part of your job is they run a business in their business says, okay, listen, we're going to give you jobs as a trader, but you got to make an investment. You got to pay for certain technology. And I'm like, uh, okay, it's like, you know, I got to buy a suit. What I got to, oh, I got to buy, what, what I got to do? I got to pay a train ticket. Oh no, no. You got to buy, um, you got to buy the, the exchange software and it costs a thousand a month. Now think about this for a second. Who here, after 23 years later, 25 years later, would pay $1,000 for this data? Because the way I was pitched and explained, hey, you want the quarter million dollar job? I'm like, yeah, of course I do. So what does $1,000 cost you? $12,000 a year? What do you think? Things are free in this world? And then and everybody's like, no, 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 sir, sir. Do you also want the job? Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Next morning, 95% of people didn't show up. You know who the 5% was? Me. Okay? And you know where those other 95% are? I have no idea, but that tell you one thing. They're not in the trading. This is my thing. It doesn't cost $1,000 today. It costs $15. And you know what? When I'm done, I'm going to show you it's going to cost you $9 when we're done. $9. Why would you not pay $15, $9 a month for this? 
fifteen dollars. I, I, it blows my mind. It blows my mind that people will not get this data. This is actually Nasdaq market uh, data. This is having a seat on the exchange. Actually, to get a seat on the exchange back in the '90s and 2000s, it cost you about three to five million. Now you're doing. Now you got a seat on exchange for free. You still don't want that. You should not be trading. And and please don't don't mind me. Be very brash. You know, and get in your face. But honestly, the way I was trained, you know, is like this is like being a coach. We don't pat you in the back when you do a when you do a bad jo- when you do a bad job. A good coach would be like, "Well, get in your face and say, listen, I know you made a mistake. You did it once. You do it twice. Then we have a problem. You do it three times. You're fired. Okay? Because now you're gonna now you're gonna affect my life, and it's gonna cost me money. We all make mistakes, and that's okay. You're supposed to learn from mistakes. And if you think this is, and if you think you want to go up against an eight hundred thousand share seller in Wish, you got something coming to you. Because Wish bounced right off that big eight hundred thousand share seller, and it came right back down to thirteen. You gotta follow the money, fellow traders. That's how things work. Well, Nick, you know, regarding regarding about what we're looking at right now, um, there is something called Nasdaq Total View, which we're going to talk about next. This is basically a uh, you know a level four version of it, but I'm just showing you more of a detailed version of it. Okay, let's look at ATOS. Now, ATOS, look at the trend right here. And I know we have some technicians here, but look at this. This is not an indicator. This is a platform, right? You can see right here that the stock literally has support levels. You got 34,000 shares looking to be bought right here. Stock hits the support, goes up to 720, stops at 750. Why does it stop at 750? You got a 58,000 share seller. Could have bought it here at with the 30,000 share seller, you could have sold it here with the 58,000 uh, share seller, make yourself 30 cents, 30 cents. What the hell's 30 cents? Oh, you know what? 30 cents on 1,000 shares in a matter of, I don't know, two minutes is $300. It's about a $60,000 salary. Do you have a problem with that? I don't know anyone else, but I don't have a problem with that. You know, listen, you don't got to kill it. You don't have to kill it. Now, this is the big thing you have to look at. Can we break through a resistance level? Can we break through that seller? Well, you know what? You saw the support levels down here at at 720. It went right to that 750. Somebody bought it, and I know it wasn't us because that's a lot of shares. That's a lot of money. And guess what? You think I'm going to sit there and listen to some indicator and tell me, oh, you know what? It's going to go down. And then listen, resistance levels get broken all the time. How did they get broken? Guy got executed. Stock goes from $750 to $8. Now it's, it's going to test another 146, uh, 146,000 share seller out there. That's what we call the next iceberg order. That's, that's a lingo we use for big block orders. We call them iceberg orders. I came up with that word after watching the movie Titanic. Sad movie, sad story. You'll probably all know about it. We all know what happened when you hit an iceberg and you don't listen and have the right tools. You sink and everyone dies. You don't want to blow up your account. So that's basically the reality of trading. We look for big block orders. Now, just out of curiosity, did, 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 did I lose anybody? Is anyone lost? Just out of curiosity. Anybody here lost them, what I just owed? Just give me a yes or no. Wow, everyone's saying no. You see, think about this. Think about where you came from, right? I don't know if anyone here, I'm just out of curiosity. Um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a poll right here. Did you guys ever take education? Um, self-taught like YouTube and books? Did you take any paid courses? Do you have a uh, do you have a coach? You know, that you're working with, just out of curiosity right now, just fill that out. Now, the reason why I'm asking this question is this, is that um, we always recommend and we tell everybody, do yourself a favor. 
go shop around. Go listen and do your homework before you make an investment with a school or somebody else, because you all need to be educated. If you don't think that so, I, every educator out there, good and bad ones are going to tell you the same thing. Just just close your account and go go start interviewing stockbrokers, because it's just not, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when you're going to blow up your account. I've done this. I don't care how much money you hear people say, oh, I have a friend of mine who's up $300,000 on, 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 uh, on uh, you know, AMC. Yeah, yeah, great. You know what? Did he take the profit yet? Oh, no, no. They're waiting for it goes to 100. Yeah. I, I've seen that story happen many times. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to end the poll right here. And it's great to see that there are a lot of people here that made an investment in education. And this is what makes you realize that, think about it. Think about where you came from, 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 if you did take training, and then seeing here in a free webinar with Fausto at Cybertrade Versity, like, why does it seem less complicated? You know, why, why, it kind of makes like sense. Like, why don't we just find the big oil, follow the orders? Why do I got to sit there and try to learn to be an analyst? Why do I need to think I'm, out, I'm going to outsmart Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley and Black, uh, BlackRock and all these big, why do, why do I got to think I got to, Go out there and co compete with these people. Why don't you just join them? You know, not to get political, if you're, you know, regardless if you're a Republican, Democrat, Independent. You know what they, they all go away? You know what's funny? They all agree on one thing. They all go after Wall Street. You always hear them say, Wall Street's got to pay more. Wall Street, Wall Street. Well, and you know what I say? I'm like, you know, they make, they make you hate Wall Street. You know, Occupy Wall Street. I don't know if you know that. They, you know, people are like, you know, the thing is this. Why, why beat them? Join them. Join them. I mean, obviously going out there and, you know, dealing with COVID and stuck at home. Some of us had, you know, getting a stimulus check. Well, you know what? I don't want, I don't want a stimulus check. I want to make my own money. I don't want to be dependent on someone else. And you can. The stock market will give you the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward, the freedom you got. You just got to know how to play the game and surround yourself with really qualified traders like people at Cybertrade University. That's why we've been around for so long. That's why we've been endorsed by every brokerage firm and you know, have a five-star rating on Google and you know, a, a great rating, you know, a AAA rating at the Better Business Bureau. That's what you want. That's what you need. But you got to learn before you can earn. And the part of it is just following the money. So let's talk about indicators. Because that's what everyone really likes to talk about. I'm not a fan of indicators. You know, it works for it works for swing trading and investing. To me, I, I'm I'm a I'm a an active junkie trader. You know what I mean by that is I, I just buy I trade all day long. Uh, I'm done now. I made my money for the day. But like when I when I trade, I mean I just basically just find what's moving in the market, trade today's market. I just make a day's pay. That's it. I. I um, when I deal with indicators, they're so complicated. They're, math my, they're made by mathematicians. You know what I mean? And when you look at it, I mean, listen, look at this example right here, okay? What chart's easier to read? Chart number one or chart number two? Jamie's saying uh, people go after them because they don't understand the people or the business they go after. I know, and, and unfortunately, that's why I tell everyone you should go and listen to everybody and then come back to CTU and you'll see why, like, my God, this is so much more easier and less complicated. Now I know why you've been in business for 25 years. But look, look at every single one of you. I don't have that one person in that whole room that said chart number one is easier to read. Oh, you mean you don't want to learn about a Fibonacci? Oh, you mean you don't want to learn about a MACD? Oh, you don't want to learn about a RSI? Ooh, sounds pretty interesting. Wow, sounds like it makes sense. Sounds like it's right all the time. But what they don't tell you, it's, it's predicated on the past. We don't work on the past. We work on the future. And the future is where are the orders trying to get out, where they're trying to buy it and where they're trying to sell it. I don't care what happened in the past because supports and resistance get broken all the time. Let, let, let me put it this way. Um, let me put it this way. You ever feel that sometimes when you're trading, you feel like someone's like watching you? It's like every time you buy a stock, like I feel like every time I buy it, it goes down, and every time I sell it, it goes up. Has that ever happened? Does anyone ever feel like sometimes that happens to you? 
I always like to ask Rob's like, yes. He's like, he's like, he, Rob is like really happened to me all the time. Rand Ra- Raymond. Oh my God. I got even a bigger yes from, uh, from Murphy. You know what the problem is? It's not that it, it's not that they're watching you. It's just, you're not watching them. That's really what comes down to it. If you're watching them and know where they are, it will make things a lot easier. The, the thing is that you're you looking, you're working off something, you know, like our thing, our motto is everyone's always buying into demand and they're selling into supply, right? That's the wrong way to do it. You have to sell into demand, which means people are buying it and you got to you got to buy into supply. You got to buy while it's still good when it's coming down because you know have a you, you know our job is to teach you have a game plan to say okay let the stock come down because you want to buy it where because you know where support is and that's where the buyers are now they're ready to get get it there that's where you got to get in and out of it in other words you want to learn how to drive against traffic not with traffic not really that smarty like you know like i understand why I keep getting stuck in traffic every day they're like uh don't you know it's people go to work at nine o'clock in the morning is that why they're going? Is that why? Is that why we hit traffic? You see what I'm saying? Like I try to use these metaphors to kind of make you realize that, you know, if you if you if you don't follow how the game is being played, you're always going to be, you know, in last place. So let me just clear this out. And let me just change the slide here. There we go. All right. So once again. Technical analysis paralysis. You don't want to really get that into trouble of stocks that move like that. So um, let me talk about potential income. This is another big mistake that people make. You don't need to make a lot of money to make a successful career in trading. You know, like, like I'm going to give you a little advice, everybody. If you hear anybody on the internet or watch YouTube channels and you get these people brag, hey, I made 25,000 today, uh, you, uh, you know, I lost 7,000. First of all, even if they, how do we even know if it's, if it's true, number one? And number two, even if it is, how are you going to compete with those people? How are you going to be on the same league? You know what I mean? Like they're playing $1,000 hands, you're playing $2 hands. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like they, you, you want to compete, you know, like it, they're in a different mindset. What we do at Cybertrain University, we bring you back down to reality. Can you get there? Of course you could. But how are you going to be a race car driver if you don't even know how to put the key in the ignition? I, 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 you know, so you got to think about it. And some of us will be happy to make a, a small little profit. I mean, look at the stock right here. This stock went from Eleven forty up to thirteen dollars. Look at that, right from here to here. I mean, did you need to make three, four dollars? No. If you just made fifty cents, fifty cents on a thousand shares, five hundred dollars a day is a hundred thousand dollars in one hour. That's all you need. You don't got to make a lot. And here, I mean, that's why traders make the mistakes. What I'm going to do right now is let me let me just talk about some stocks that we traded that you could have made 50 cents. All right. Let me just bring this up here. Hold on a second. All right. Can, can everybody see my chart? Well, Jim, that's what I want to talk about right now. OK, thanks for bringing that up. I'm going to talk about that right now. Can everybody see the uh, the chart really quick? Just give me a chat. No, oh, hold on a second. Uh, where are we? Yep. Okay. All right. So here's a couple of stocks that we traded. TTD. Okay. It's expensive. So expensive, but nice move. Went from at 9.30 this morning, stock ran from $66 and up until 10.30 ran to 74. You know, if you bought 100 shares of that stock, 100 shares, you know, you made yourself, I don't know, 10 points, $1,000. You only made half that, 500. That's on 100 shares. You only need $47,000 to trade it. You could trade just one single stinking hundred shares. DBGI. 
Stock got halted seven times. 9.30 this morning, went from 4.20, went all the way to 4.60. Thing just out of nowhere took off, got halted, okay? Went from 4.80 all the way up to 7.20, okay? Not bad for a day's pay. KLDO, 9.30 this morning, stock goes from 7.20, okay? Goes all the way right, it went up to up 950. And you know what? Even if you miss the morning, even you got the morning and the thing went from 725 to 8, 788, you made your 50 cents. You don't need to kill it. And you could have came in later and still made money. The stock, I mean, the trend is your friend. You don't want to buck the trend. And please don't don't tell me like uh, looking at it like, well, you know, it's got a double top, all time highs. You know, you got bull flags, bear flags. That's That's worthless. Okay. You want to see orders. I got another one here. M-O-X-C. This one was pretty cool. Started pretty late, but $17 stock. Thing ran to 25. Does anyone even know what M-O-X-C even does? Does anyone even know what this stock does? We'll, we'll, we'll go check Jesse AMC in a minute. How about this? That's right, Patrick. Who even cares? Do you think I'm going to sit the wife, at, at the dinner table? My wife's like, oh, um, what did you trade today? What did you trade today? I think she cares what she hear what I trade. She wants to know. I got I, I just. I, I got my son that's graduating co- uh, high school. Okay. He's going to college. I got another one going to college. She just wants to know, is their college going to be paid? Because I don't want to take loans out on them. That's all she cares about. You think I'm here to talk about, you know, you know, it's exciting once in a while. I think, you think if I told what this company does, whatever she wanted, like, did you make money? Oh, good. Okay. That's all. That's all we care about. It's not about the story. It's not about the, you know, oh, look, look at these great little emojis they're making on, you know, on, on Reddit regarding about AMC. What the hell did AMC do today? I mean, it's a great story. It's fun, everything else. But what is it doing today? Nothing. But what about this one? Because this is what we're trading right now in the trading room. ATOS. Look at this thing. Just now when we started at 1230, stock went from eight bucks. Look where it is now. It's almost at 850. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Who doesn't want to trade that stock? Cheap, $8 stock. You know, it's better than trading an option that can expire on you worthless. At least you could sell and get your money out right away. Jesse says the MRN. Yeah, that was good this morning. The uh, the MRIN. But uh, in pre-market, yeah. 7.30, we do a lot of pre-market trading, you know, also. Look at that stock. Went from 260, you know, all the way to 340. How much money do you need to trade that stock? You need a lot, which, by the way, that's a misconception that people get when they're trading. They're like, well, how much money do you need to do this? You don't need a lot of money to do this. Oh, I thought there was only Facebook out there to trade. Oh, I thought there was only Tesla out there. There are so many stocks out there to trade. So many stocks out there. It's all about we'll teach you how to, to, to trade less, least amount of risk with a high amount of reward. Lucy's asking, so how much money do you need to make 500 a day? Okay, let's let's look at this example. If you were with us trading in pre-market and you bought the stock at $2.75 to buy 1,000 shares, how much money do you need? $2,700? And you could have sold it, what? 15 minutes, 30 minutes later at like 3.15? Make yourself, I don't know, what? 45 cents? You don't, you don't need a lot of money to do that. You don't need a lot of money. And anyone that tells you that is obviously not a trader. Listen, being a good trader, I learned from the best in the industry. And I, and that's another thing I always tell everybody out there. And this is why Cybertrade University has been endorsed by every brokerage firm in the industry. Because I'm not, you know... Uh, I'm not, I'm not a pilot, which is nothing wrong with that. I'm not a gym teacher, which is nothing wrong with that. Okay. I'm not somebody that was a scuba diver and decide I want to train. I have a good philosophy, I, you know, which is nothing wrong with that. But do you want to learn from a scuba diver 
or do you, or, or you want to learn from a guy that, that's been a market maker like me? This is what we do all day. Anyone watched um, my show yeah, uh, two days ago with Tom Sosnoff, the founder of Tastyworks? Guy sold t- the Think or Swim for a billion dollars. He just sold again for a billion dollars. And he comes and he, he's a good friend of mine. You think he would ever recommend you call him up? Says, Who do you recommend for, to, to teach me day trading? Fausto Puglisi, hand down. Really? Out of all people in this, I see there's hundreds. Go see Fausto. You're going to question a guy like that? That's, that's a, the one, probably one of the best entrepreneurs. And he was a floor trader in New York Stock Exchange. Yes, this was recorded. Absolutely. So my thing is this. If you want to go out there and you like trading, why go out there and try to learn the hard way when we can invite you into our trading room and I will show you this stuff all live and see that people actually make money doing it because that's where it comes down to it. So this is what we're going to do. Um, does anyone want to see this live? Anybody want to see this live in the market? I mean, you know, listen, it's pretty to make PowerPoints, right? Anyone can make a, a nice, pretty PowerPoint. But do you practice what you preach? That's what I always say. So um, so anyway, uh, don't, don't worry about the PD, uh, PDT rule right now, uh, Jesus. Let's not worry about that right now. That's the least of your problems. Okay? Your problem right now is, do you want to get into this business? That's, your, that's the first thing you have to ask yourself. Okay? So... This is what we're going to do. I want to invite you all to come to the original trading room. This is the one I started 25 years ago. You're seeing everybody pop up and all over. And by the way, a lot of those people that have trading rooms are my students. Okay. Um, Some of them stole our ideas, but most of them are our students. Come to the original one. Let me show you the original one. And I want you not to judge us on our winners. I want you to judge us on our losers. I had some losers today. And thank God I got out of them because if I didn't, I would have blew up my account. So I want you to judge us and see what's going on in our trades. And this is what basically the agenda is going to be. We start the room. We open up at 730 in the morning. And in that room, we'll go up until about nine, uh, up all the way to the close. We do live commentary. You're going to get access to your own education advisor. Uh, we do scanners. We, 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 we're gonna, basically, we're going to show you and you're going to see things, why they go up and why they go down. But most importantly, you're going to see people that, that we're trading with and see how they're making money and how they did it. And by the way, these people are in there. They're no smarter than you. Okay. They're, they're the same working hard people out there. They're, they're uh, engineers. There are people that work in, you know, aerospace, they're grandmas and grandpas, business owners, uh, oil rig people. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Um, you know, they, they're just like you. OK, so look at them, listen to them, see how they're doing. And let's see if it's for you or not. Now, this is the deal. Remember I told you it was $9? You're going to get all this for $9. And by the way, it's money back guaranteed. I, listen, I don't need your $9, okay? Um, the $9 is to show me that you are, you are what you say you are. So we know exactly who you are. Basically, it's, 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 it's an application fee, all right? Uh, we just don't like telling anybody in our room, you know, because some people really don't qualify. And we don't, we, we don't need to have two, 3,000 people in a room. First of all, you're never going to learn from anyone, all those people in a room anyway. But this is what you're going to get for $9. You're going to get a, 100 hours of recordings, a premium workshops, your own education advisor. You're getting all this for nine stinking dollars. And as a bonus, I'm going to throw a $500 bonus package in there. I will actually give you a free a coaching class. Now, why would I do that? Because I need to know if I could train you. I am hiring you and to hire you to be in my room. It's a lot of work to train you. And if you're really not qualified, then you know what? I'll tell you point blank. But what do you have to lose? It's nine dollars. You're going to get I'm going to teach you how to shadow brokerage firms. I'm going to show you how to follow the big money. You're going to see how to find these stocks in the market. You're going to learn how to pre-market, aftermarket trade, all that good stuff. Just click on the link right now and get registered. And like I said, first 20 people, I can only do the coaching because I really can't. I only have X amount of hours in a day and I really can't, you know, I only could do so much. All right. 
Now, does anyone have any questions in the meantime? Oh, yes. There's another thing too. When you fill out and do the trial, there is a questionnaire. Very important you answer it in detail because that is something that's part of your application because we don't we want to make sure we, we we can consult you and tell you, you know, no different than the doctor says, oh, I'm not going to talk to you until I see your blood work because I don't know what, what's wrong with you. Fill that out. Let us know what brokerage firms you had. Did you take any training? You know, some of you asked me about the P, uh, the, uh, the PTT rule. You know, let us know how much you have in your account, whatever. So we, we know how to come back to you and tell you, you know, what you need and what you don't need. All right. Uh, any other questions, Fausto? Do you guys have an affiliate program for C2? I have an affiliate website. Uh, yes, we do actually, Barry. So just send me an email. Uh, let me put my email address in there. Just take my email and just email me and definitely you can work out something out with that. And then also, as a, um, just to let everybody know that when it comes to trading, um, you know, Learn how to play the game. Learn how to let me show you how to do that with with, with, with that with that one fee. Uh, oh, that's what I meant to say. And with that email that I just posted up there, if you guys want to um, uh, want to know a good options trader, forex trader, if you just email me, say you know what I like what you're doing. I want to do yours, but do you know anybody in this industry? Just email me, and I'll be. I rather do, you know, refer you to the right person than find that you spent thousands of dollars and then found out that you just you know you got into involved in the wrong program. You don't want to do that. Uh, any other questions? No problem, Barry. You're more than welcome. Uh, Martin, when I sign up the program, can I see the charts and the stocks that were sellers and buyers? Yes, you will. Absolutely. But when you register, you're going to be, you're going to be talking to one of the education advisors. They're going to do, they're going to put you through a, you know, a walkthrough of how the system, what you're going to see. We don't want you to go in the room because you're going to end up being lost. And, you know, we want you to kind of get the best experience possible. So, you know, exactly what to experience, because let me tell you, when you come in the room, you know, it's you're going to see this is like this is the floor of the exchange and it's very exciting and you're going to see things that are going to blow your mind but you want to make sure you get the best and full experience of it um carly says um how will this work for conflict my nine to five job my goal is to get out of work from nine to five well listen carly whatever you miss is going to be recorded so when you watch the recording, um, what you can't see, you can at least access it on your phone. You only need it, honestly, you only need an hour in the room. You want to be there in the most, most volatile times, the first hour and the last hour. That's about it. Uh, well, listen, there's a lot of people, Steve, out there, you know, that do what I do. Um, but. You know, and, and I can't, I don't know all of them, but I do, I knew, I do know one thing. I went up against almost every school in the industry and I beat every one of them. A lot of them are really not market makers and traders. And when you see from a, a trader's perspective, you'll see like, holy crap, now I know why I was doing something backwards. So, Scott, if you continue after 30 day, uh, after the seven day trial, it's 149 a month. And if you don't want to continue, no problem. Just tell us. We're not we don't care if you don't want to if you don't want to be there. We're not going to I don't first. I don't need to scrutiny. OK, I don't need to scrutiny. If you don't want to be there, number one, you're not going to make me money because I'm not going to be able to teach you what's going on. You get it or you don't. That's how it goes. No problem. You're more than welcome. Um, how do you see the level four? Can we get level three from Trayview? Yes, Victor. So when you do the trial, which I didn't see you register yet, um, what I'll do is you're going to get, um, we'll, we'll show you how to get level two. By the way, don't go anywhere because we're going to play the video of, uh, of me on the NASDAQ where NASDAQ invited me there to do a presentation. And I've been there several times because they want you to learn how to trade their exchange. They want you to know how to trade trade it. So I'm going to show you exactly you, you, how to get it, but I don't want you to buy it. I don't want you to buy it until we show you. You'll end up doing more harm than good. It's like saying, oh, I could drive a car. Great. Give me the keys. Oh, let me let me show it to you how to put the key in. Oh, no, no, no. I'll figure it out when I get there. And like, oh, okay, well, don't blame me for it. That's why we got the warning sign, you know, in the beginning. 
Uh, a couple of people here just registered. Just want to do a couple of shout outs. Uh, Douglas, I just got your registration from Montana. Uh, we got Steve from North Carolina, Apex, uh, Steve K. Welcome aboard. Just got your registration. Carly from uh, Carly R from Fort Worth, Texas. I love, by the way, I've been to Texas so many times. I had a radio show in Texas. Uh, I used to go from Houston to Fort Worth. Love Fort Worth. I love the, when you guys do the, uh, the, the, uh, the Longhorns, when you walk down the street, um, great experience, great people. A lot of people from Texas, um, actually one of the coaches, which I'm not going to bring it up because I don't know if you like them or not, but one of the college coaches, uh, is one of my students. He's in the room also. Let me tell you, they, they trade also. John T from Waterford, Missouri, just got your registration. All right. Douglas, I just got your your uh, your application fee. Thank you very much for filling that out. Bill just got yours. John just got yours. Barry, um, Fausto, I cannot make the trading the sense you. Uh, trading is just. Well, Barry, listen, uh, and everyone else, if you can't start, some people are asking me, like, when could you start? Listen, um, I, I recommend you start right away. If you can't start right away, um, that's fine. Just just lock yourself in now and then just tell your advisor, I want to start on Monday or maybe a week from now. You know, maybe the you know, 4th of July is coming up. Maybe you're going to be away, whatever it is. But go out there and fill it out, reserve, you, lock it in because we only have 20 spots. I, uh, we can't, you know, we only allow a certain amount of people in a week because it's a lot of work to train somebody and walk them through. You know, we lose money on this. But the thing is, I look to make money in the long run because if I can give you, you become a six figure trader, I'll make several thousand on your call outs in the room. That's where it comes back. Uh, Grant, basically, Grant B, when is your coaching? First of all, I didn't see you register yet, Grant. Uh, did you did you register yet? But the way you book your appointment is the education. Of, we're going to watch you in the room and then you need to see what's going on and then you'll be able to talk to me afterwards. And then the education uh, advisor will book a time and date when we'll talk and uh, talk. Uh, we'll talk to you. And don't miss your appointment because I'll be really ticked off. I, I take I take a lot of time out of my way to go out there and train you guys and show it to you. But if you're serious, you'll know if you want to continue your appointment once you start being in the room. Okay, no problem, Grant. I see that. All right. I see we got a lot of options traders coming in also and some futures traders. Steve, I see you're a futures trader. Steve, let me tell you and everyone else out there, you know, a lot of people like this is how I explain your your, your trading style. If you let's say you did futures like you said, I, I see you just clicked on futures. If you're not making money within 30 to 60 days, you're really wasting your time. You obviously have a bad mentor, a bad instructor, or it's not for you. You love the business, which is the market. But maybe that mark is not for you. Same for the options. If you're not making money within 30, 60 days and you're not getting it, you're pretty much wasting your time. I always kind of relate it to like hire an employee. You think I want to have an employee work for CTU for two months that still doesn't get it? You know, you think I still want to dish out money for that? We know that we know that what's going to end up. It's a waste of time. You're not going to make any money with it. You got to get rid of them. And it's the same thing as running a business. Like, you know, it's like you're going to work for somebody. It's like, damn, this is confusing. I don't get it. Well, you know what? That's good because time is very valuable. Money is very, there's a lot of money out there, but you can't waste time, you know, doing something if you're not getting. So it's time to move on and do something different. Uh, I also see that uh, same thing with you, Carly. I see that you're doing a little more swing trading from what you filled out in your questionnaire. That's great. And you know what? Swing trading is very risky because you're holding positions overnight. When you day trade, it will make you that much better of a swing trade because then you can see things come to fruition and how to swing trade. A lot of people do things backwards. You got to learn how to day trade first. Uh, another shout out. A couple of other people here just registered. Uh, Wilton P from, I guess you're from another country. San Juan. There you go. All right. Beautiful. My videographer is from San Juan. Barry, I don't receive uh, that email, Fausto, but I believe I still have your email from the past in trial. No problem, but Barry, just send that over to me, okay? Just send it over to me. You got my email up there. And if you don't, 
Hold on. I probably sent it to the wrong email. Sorry about that. F-A-U-S-T-O-P at C-T-U corp.com. You know what? I actually had it to all attendees. I didn't have to all panelists. I just clicked on. I fixed that for you. All right. So, um, good, good. We got to rise. Okay. So listen, guys, uh, we're almost sold out. There's over about a hundred and almost 200 people in here. Um, just make sure you register quickly. If you miss it, you could always book them for the following week. Just, um, just go out there and learn before you could earn. We got a great market. You go into the best time. Markets are about 300 points, right? 320 right now. It's it went down five, 600 the other day. We have great volatility, but there's so much more opportunity out there to trade things to just make a day's pay. You got to learn how to play the game. So do your trial. It's $9. You got nothing to lose, but everything to gain. If you don't like it, we'll give you money back. But Let's show you what it's all about before you start making some harsh decisions. Because if you think buying dollars is expensive, try ignorance. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Don't go anywhere. We're going to play the quick video on NASDAQ. We still have some advisors in here in the chat room. They'll be happy to answer your questions. Scott, Gordon, Wilton. I got to get ready for my, my, my upcoming class that's coming up right now. So that's why I have to go. But uh, sit back, watch the video, and I'll see you all in the trading room. All right? Enjoy your summer, and I'll see you, I'll see you soon, everybody. Thanks, everyone. With everything going on, the volatility we've seen in the market since you were with us in the middle of February last time. That was pretty crazy. Traders are asking themselves, what's the bottom, what's the top? But as a day trader, you can kind of get an inside look when you're looking at a single stock. Yeah, what, it, what it is, Jill, is that, thanks for having me again. And yes, when it, when it comes to day trading, people realize that what happens over the course of the day, which trickles down to a swing trade into a long-term investment. And my phone's been blowing up. People keep asking me, Faust, is this the bottom? Is this the bottom? Because I'm looking, we're looking at the market all day. And honestly, this is how you really know when it's the bottom. When you have the worst of the worst of the worst news and just constantly all negative stuff, and the market's not going any lower, that's when you know it's time to buy. <laughs> so as you see, like a lot of bad news keeps coming up, and then obviously you saw what happened yesterday when they lowered the Fed rate by a half. It, it, it took for a, a big decline, and all of a sudden the market's up with about almost like 900 points so far. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and there's still a lot of bad news that's coming out with the coronavirus and everything else, but that's really when you know when you hit the bottom. So for some of the listeners out there that really were missed a boat when the market had a big rally, you almost hit 30,000. You know, these are the opportunities. You know, honestly, it is like the same thing I saw back in 2008 when we had the financial crisis. So once you start seeing all the bad news, things start backing up, well, start going up. All right, let's take a look at our example here today. We're gonna look at ticker symbol MRNA, NASDAQ listed, of course. What are we looking at? Where's the levels that you're looking to sell? Okay, so listen, what is the MRNA? You know, I keep bringing up stocks. And people are like, what is this company? It doesn't matter. We're just here to make money. The main goal about Total View and is you have to understand how it works, how to know where the buyers and sellers are. It's all about supply and demand. That's why it's such a great tool. So we're looking at a chart right here, and we're looking at the stock right here. And the first thing people notice is like the stock's going up beautifully. Nice. Look at the stock. Started this morning. It's at 20, uh, 2580. It's at 28. Is it going higher? Now, the goal is... Why is the stock keep breaking out? It hits a resistance, it comes back down. It breaks the previous resistance, keeps going up. How do you know it's going to keep breaking higher highs? And that what we're going to do this time is we're going to bring a video so you all could see exactly what it's like to see in the real market conditions. All right, so let's move along to our next slide here. That's exactly what we're doing. Let's take a look at Total View. I'm going to let you take the reins. Tell us what's happening here. Okay, so we got like a little minute video here. So we're looking at some real time. And the key here is time and sales. These are the transactions that are taking place. We're looking at level two. Level two is basically people get for free, but it doesn't give you the depth of data as Total View does. Now, the key here is that you see, you don't see that many sellers out there. You're just seeing the best bid and best, uh, best offer of that exchange, but you'll notice how the stock keeps going higher. What we need to focus on is the where you see the big sellers, and you're looking for big orders. You got a 50, 51 different orders out there, right around 20, 28, things are going so quickly, I try to slow it down. So right around so 28, 28.50. 28, so that is really your resistance level. So when you're looking at a stock going out, 
the, the going higher, you're going to say, is this stock going to break out? So you see it's coming up to this guy right here really quickly. You see it's coming up. Mm -hmm. It's coming up to this person right here. So 70,000 shares, 5,000 shares. Uh, so it's going to come up to that seller. Now the goal is this, is that guy going to get executed? Remember, you have 100 share sellers, 300 shares, 1,000. You have a big, uh, a big order out there. You want to see if that guy gets executed, and you want to see if th that's how it breaks out. Remember, what makes support and resistance levels is buyers and sellers. So you got a seller out there. So we're coming up to that seller right here. Now the goal is, is to look right here and see if that seller gets executed. And you see it's coming up to the seller, and boom, the guy gets taken out. It's, it's, ac it's actually executing it. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. See all those trades actions? Mm -hmm. It took the guy out. Now look how fast the stock goes up. From 250, we're at 260, 270, 280, boom, like that, as quickly as that. That's why it's so important to know where the orders are, know where the resistance, and see if the guy gets taken out. Now, when we get to the next slide, look at it, we're already at, we're already at 2880. Yep, and you can see, you can see it starts at 35,000 Which orders. is, yep. exactly, now this is the next order. Now, the next question is, here's the next biggest resistance. There's a 33,000 shares for, a th uh, there's, there's a, a hundred different orders out there. Now then that's where the next resistance level is. So the goal is you hit a resistance, where's the next resistance? The next resistance is the next biggest seller. So now we're coming up to him and we're gonna see what's gonna happen when he gets to 29. Yeah, I mean, it happens so fast. Well, also this is about a, a five minute video that I mm -hmm. was able to capture when we traded this stock and I kind of speeded it up over about a minute. So it doesn't move as quickly. Boom, we hit 29, yep. the guy got taken out again and look at the stock just took off again. And the and thing I want to explain to you, Jill, is that, and your listeners have to understand, is that when you have a big seller out there and that guy gets taken out, that is a very big demand. Someone says, oh, wow, I'll, I'll take that 30,000 shares. And that's why you get the stock that really, really starts to take off. Now, the next thing is that you're going to get some resistance levels. People, it's going to start backing off. There's always profit taking going on, right? Of course. So when you have profit taking going on, you can see profit taking going on. But the question is, is it really a profit taking or is it just people just... Uh, uh, or is it really going to go lower? In this case, it's not. Seller got done. Remember, we just watched the stock go from 28 to 29. Now look at it. We're at 29.50 already. Stock just keeps going higher and higher because those sellers are getting executed. As those sellers get executed, there's, that means there's a demand for it. When you see big block orders out there, it makes a bigger demand, and that makes it higher. Now, the next resistance level, obviously, is going to be where we, we have to focus on where the next biggest orders are. So we got some, no, I think we freeze, right? We're done? Nope, Almost. we have a little bit more to go here. We slow down over here. Yep, we're done. Oh. So the next video we're going to show. Yeah, we actually go to our slide here. So this is where you're looking at those levels. Right, so we're looking at the seller. So we have a 67,000 share seller at 28. So now we have to look what's, what, what's what we call iceberg orders. What does that mean? Okay. So it's a funny story. So I came up with this word about 20 years ago after watching the movie, The Titanic. <laughs> okay, I should go watch that movie. Very sad movie, I, I definitely am recommended. So anyway, what happened to Titanic? It hit an iceberg and the, the thing is, everybody was focused on the pretty of the ship and above the water. They didn't realize it's not what's above the water, it's at the bottom of the water. Icebergs are really big. So what happened, it, it crashed and it sunk. So what we're looking for is big iceberg orders, which we call, some people call them big block orders, but when, when you see a big, big order, it's called an iceberg order. So now we're looking at a 2890 and we're looking for a resistance. Once again, stock's going higher. We need to focus on the next resistance level. All right, and which is on the next chart here. If we take a look, yep. So here's a quick, just a quick little screenshot. So as we're looking at it, at, at a, a, you see, it's a lot easier when you're focusing on, when you're just looking at the, at the level, uh, the total view, and it's, it's easy to point it out. Now, please keep in mind, your listeners have to understand, we're fast forwarding this pretty quickly mm -hmm. to get to the point. It doesn't move this quickly. Um, but I'm showing right here, it's just a quick screenshot. What we're focusing on is this big order right here for 73,000 shares, and there's 30, uh, there's 315 different orders out there making up that 73,000. Now, um, the thing I, I just want to point out is, I just want to teach everyone a quick little lesson. Yeah. Don't ever sell anything at $30. $30. Go out of $29.99. You just cut the line by. <laughs> so that's for anything that's like an evil, even number. Biggest, trip, biggest, uh, biggest uh, uh, trick I was taught by my mentors when I was younger. Just, listen, everybody's going to think 30. Everybody's going to think 20. Go out. Twenty-one ninety-nine. You just cut the line by seventy-three thousand shares. That's a very it's good. It's like lesson. selling a house or buying a house. It's like that. Those incremental psychological levels. Well, if you remember, if you look at it, the stock has a penny intervals. Mm -hmm. Every and so that's a little tip. But the thing is, let's focus what happens to the thirty. You no, know, just right off the bat, you know that's a major resistance level, and that's what we have to focus on. That's for this the stock to go any higher, it's got to get through that seventy-three thousand share seller on total view. All right. Well, let's take a look at that. Next slide, see what happens next. Now we're gonna get the, the other 
piece of the trade. Okay, so here we're now we're looking at the stock moving. Here's 29.45, 20, 20, uh, 29.48, 62, 67. So the sellers are getting executed. You can see the transactions taking place, but we know that there's that guy sitting right here. And now his order's coming up. Look, he's starting making up the ranking. Mm -hmm. It's getting up to 30. It's getting close to him. So let's watch what happens. 74, 70, look at the transactions taking place. It's trying to get there. And, and by the way, those orders, they're all real. People think like they're fake. Those are real orders. Can a guy cancel it? Of course they can cancel it. But that you have to take very seriously, and that's a real order out there. So now when, as we're looking at it, and as it's trading, it's trying to get there. Actually, it kind of almost tested it. You see that right there? Yeah. See that candle right there? It's hit it, and now it's starting to back off a little. Now you're starting to see the red candlesticks. So now it means that the, that the last sale is, is lower than the previous. And, and this works for all kinds of stocks. ETFs, would, would it work for ETFs, ETFs also? ETFs, futures, options. It works the same way. Remember, it's the movement of stock that makes all those other things. Yeah, right. ETFs and everything else. You, you, can, you, you can look up any ETF, and it'll come up on total deal. Um, look, look, now we're down to 29. Yep. So my point that I'm getting to is this. If you didn't have a game plan, Jill, and didn't know that that seller was out there, and you try to like... And actually, like, if we go to the next slide, this is exactly what you were talking about. There's yeah. your level right there. If you didn't have a game plan and knew that seller was out there, and look at, look at that candle, that stock literally moved. Look how fast it moved in that one bar chart. If you didn't have a game plan to get out there before that guy was out there, and if you didn't what we call shaving, if you didn't shave just before that 30 and cut that line, Guess what? You would, you would just look how much money you would have lost. That stock didn't even drop from 30. Look where it went to. 2730. Wow. You would have got crushed on that trade. Because what happens, if that seller's out there and he's not getting executed, he really had to sell that order, Jill. How is he going to get out? He's got to sell to the buyers. If he hits the bid, he's running that stock down, not you and I. Remember, we're not trading 74,000. Someone else is, but and it's not one person. We saw it. It was like there were several people out there doing it. And that's how you got to focus on using the total view when you trade in today's uh, volatile markets. All right. So cool to actually watch it happen in real time. Thanks so much for doing that for us, Fausto. And thank you for joining me on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malentrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.